All right, so if you are a content media creator and you've gotten to the point that it's time to set up a studio, you're gonna to need to make sure you get lights to get your studio up and running. And I was recently contacted by iFootage and they had a very, very intriguing light that if you're in this world, may be perfect for you because hey, it's super small, very powerful, has incredible color rendition. Most importantly, it won't break the bank, very, very affordable. So iFootage sent me two lights here to take a look at. They are the Anglerfish SL1 130 BNA and the SL1 60 BNA. Now really, they're the exact same light, the only difference is going to be the light output. One puts out 130 watt, the other one puts out 60 watt. And that really just comes down to a level of power based on what you need in your studio. But really besides that, the lights are pretty much identical. They operate the same, the light rendition is the same. So I've been really, really impressed with them so far. And what I wanted to do is I kind of wanted to break this down and show you what these lights are and do, because if you are in a situation where you're setting up a social media studio, this could be something that really, really kind of fits the bill for what you're looking for. Now, the first thing I do want to point out is that these lights are powerful, but they are tiny. And I mean, when I say tiny, this thing fits in the palm of my hand. Look at this. This is a Canon R5C with a 24 to 70 lens. And look at that. This is literally, even with a light hood on it, almost the same size as an SLR camera. So these lights are gonna be very, very small. If you have a tight space, these things are great because they're not going to take up a huge amount of space. But just because this light is small, do not let it fool you. <laughs> this thing packs a lot of punch in a tiny battery. Now, the LED cell itself in here actually is set up in kind of a diamond array, and that allows for this small form factor, but it also allows you to have a higher brightness and a more evenly distributed light. And it also lets you get a whopping 14,000 lux of light at one meter from this light if you're using this reflector. That is super, super bright. If you're looking for a light that's powerful enough to go through some diffusers or other kind of modifiers like that, this light will easily do it and fit in that corner of your home office. The other feature of this that I really, really like is that you can take the light and you can actually dial it in by 0.1% increments. And you might say, do you really need that point, that tenth of a point? Yeah, you do. I just ended up shooting a movie and I was having my guy for the entire movie dial things in and down by tenths of a point. So for me, this is something that is a really, really great feature to have. But if you want to go fast, you can also take this. And if you just click the button once, it'll go up in increments from the 20. So you can see you can go to 100 to 0, 20, 40, 60, 80, and then back here down to zeros. In addition to its power, the light is also bi-color. What this means is you can go anywhere from 2700 Kelvin all the way up to 6500 Kelvin. In my opinion nowadays, I don't want to get any light that's not bi-color because it's so nice having that freedom and flexibility to dial in the light and get it exactly the color you need to match other sources in the room. Now, in addition to the really powerful little punch and bi-color, this light actually has fantastic Fantastic color rendition. But I figured it had gone out of the way to closely mimic the spectrum of natural sunlight. And they did this by eliminating some of the harsh blue highlights that you get a lot of time with LED lights. So what this means is this light gives you more lifelike skin tones and it really helps avoid any kind of a natural skin color cast that you get a lot from cheaper LEDs. Now in any modern LED light, power options are also something that has to be considered when you're getting this light, especially one as small as this, because not only could you use this in a studio, but man, this thing is so small and packs such a good punch, you could easily take us outside and use this as an external key storage. And this light actually has some really nice power options with it. Now, obviously you can power it with a DCN if you are in a studio, but in addition to that, you also have two other options if you're not in a powered environment. The first thing is you can get an adapter that can plug this into a V-mount battery and you can power this off a V-mount. The other thing that I found really nice is actually there is a USB plug on the back here for a USB-C power pack. And that means that if you have a USB-C power pack, you can actually take a bongo tie, attach it to your light stand, and you can power this off of a USB-C battery pack. <laughs> this makes this light very, very flexible. I wish more lights had this. And it's so nice knowing that you can take such a common common ubiquitous power source and like this when you're out there in the field. And in addition to the bi-color mode on this, this does have 10 built-in FX, which is something that nowadays I think you should expect just about on any LED light you have. Now, one other important note about these lights is they actually do have a mini Bowens mount adapter. So this is a little mini Bowens mount. It is the one that comes with this thing. The reflector dish is super, 
bright and powerful. So the good thing about having a mini Bowens mount is you can sit there, you can slip it right on super fast, but it also has an adapter from a mini to a full size. I could put this adapter on real quick. Let's put that on, boom. And now I can put a full size Bowens adapter on there. This means that I can put all of the softbox that I have, all the things like that. I have so many Bowens mounts adapters. It's so nice having this option. If I wanna go back to a little more controlled thing, I can pop this off super fast. I can get this back on there and boom, we are cooking with gas. We're ready to go again. Bowens mounts are so universal now. There's so many great adapters you can get. And if you get a light, you're gonna to wanna to get adapters on it. And Bowens mounts are affordable and they're everywhere. So this is a great thing to have if you're thinking about setting up a studio. There's also one other feature of this light that I was really thankful to have. And that is if you come in the menu on the back, you can actually come and get to a studio mode. And the reason why studio mode is so nice for those of you that have kind of homegrown content media things for TikTok or YouTube, is that it allows me, I can plug this in a wall, and if I cut the power off, when I cut the power back on, the studio mode will instantly bring the light on without me having to come and set the light back and off. So you can literally put it on a power strip, cut it on and off. So if you have like two or three of these at once, you can hit one button on a power strip, cut off all your power, but when it's time to shoot again, you can hit one button again, all your lights will come back exactly the way that you left it. Now, one other necessary aspect that I think of any light nowadays is going to be an app to control it. You're gonna put these lights a lot of times in hard to reach places, you wanna be able to control them with app. And luckily, iFootage does have an app. It's the iFootage Lumen app. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up real quick. And as you can see, it connects to the lights very, very easy. And then once I'm connected, I can come in here and I can either add new lights or I can treat them individually or all together. And what's nice about this is I can grab all my lights, I can bring them up as a unit, which can be very, very helpful, or I can come in here and select each one individually and cut it on and off like that. So this is a really, really helpful thing to have. Um, I found the app to be pretty straightforward and really, really useful to go in there. So all in all, this is a pretty powerful, little impressive, little content creation light. Now, whenever I do a review, I do like to kind of see if there are any cons on it that I think could be better or things you should be aware of if you're thinking about purchasing this. But really the only main con I could see to this light right now is that while I do like this little mini Bowens mount because it's small and compact, the, um, mini to large Bowens mount adapter that comes with this light. While it's good and I can put stuff on it, I did find it struggled if I tried to put like a big modifier on there. So if you have something bigger than say a 48 inch softbox, this may struggle a little bit with those big modifiers. If you're in a small studio and you don't need something that big, then this is going to be great. But just be aware, if you are going in the field and wanna put a big modifier on there, this is probably gonna be putting it right to its limit. So that's one thing to be aware of on there. The only con that I could say that really comes with these lights that I see so far is that they don't come with barn doors. And I'm a guy that wants maximum light control. Now, that being said, iFootage does have barn doors listed as one of the options you can get for this light. But as of right now, in the summer of 2023, I was not able to find uh, where I could purchase them. I don't think they're quite out yet. This is something that could come out in the future, but just know if you want that extreme level of precision control, it doesn't come with barn doors that's available right now. So it is something you need to consider as you think about how you're gonna use it. If you're gonna push this through a modifier, it's not a problem. If you wanna use this as a bare light bulb, you're probably gonna need to find some way to get some wrap or something like that if you want that precision control. But anyway guys, this is basically what I have to say here about these Anglerfish slides. I was actually really, really impressed. The size of them was so nice. I had to throw them around my studio so easy. The app was easy to use. And really I think it's one of those things, if you're looking at investing in a new studio setup, these could be something that could really fit the bill because they're not gonna break the bank. And the quality on these are built so solidly so well put together. It's probably something that'll last you, honestly, as long as you have your studio. Anyway, guys, love to hear what you say about this. Leave me any notes and comments down below. Yeah, go out there, keep on shooting, and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you soon.